What's up YouTube, it's your girl Dee Dee and welcome and welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another quick reaction for you guys. Now this comes from Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson has been all over the place lately, specifically pertaining to politics, the Democrats and this whole election process. So he was on a breakfast club recently and he was talking about Joe Biden and what the Democrats position or plan was for migrants coming to this country. And I'm gonna play a bit of what he had to say and I definitely wanna Hear your thoughts on this one what do you guys think about what he's saying this whole migrant situation kamala harris donald trump i want to know your thoughts on this one because everybody is still talking about this because we have an election coming up and people have to make a decision on who they want to vote for and who's best for this country so i want you guys to chime in in the comments below on your thoughts on this one if you have any thoughts definitely let me know in the comment section so i have the audio for copyright reasons but i want you guys to listen to what he's saying and i want to know if you agree or disagree with him let's go ahead and get into it here we go line is when joe biden got elected mm -hmm. he said he wanted to fast track four million undocumented uh residents to full citizenship black people completely ignored it mm -hmm. i spoke on it i said do you know why he want to fast track four million because he know he's not gonna do nothing for us we ain't going to be motivated to vote for him November. So what he's going to do is have these migrants already set up with citizenship so they can replace the black vote that he loses. The migrants are being put in our communities on purpose, New York and Chicago on purpose, because they are what? The two blackest cities in America. They're the two largest cities in America. They're the two most politically conscious black communities in America. So if we can wash out the black with the brown in New York, if we can wash out the black with the brown in Chicago, Philly don't stand a chance. Atlanta don't stand a chance. LA, Houston, Dallas, Detroit, Chicago don't stand a chance. The migrants are here for three reasons. Replace us at the polls, replace us at the uh, low, low end industry jobs. They're not the enemy. The problem is black people don't get as much opportunity. Mm -hmm. So then people say, well, you know, white people don't really like brown people like that. That's true. But you know what the difference is? They don't have the burden of accountability with them that they have with us. We built the country. Mm -hmm. So every time they look at us to deal with us, the bottom line is y'all brought them here and they built y'all into what y'all are. They don't have to say that to the Venezuelans. Now, so far, what do you guys think about what he had to say? Do you agree or do you disagree? Do you think that that was part of the Democratic Party's plan to bring the migrants here to put them in place to, you know, to take, you know, in place of our votes, just in case black people didn't vote for Biden or vote for Democrat, that they would have them in place uh, to vote. Do you think that they're setting them up to be able to vote? Because I've seen a couple of videos where there were migrants in apartments. People were asking them if they had individuals come around to try to register them to vote. And I think they said yes. And then the question was asked if they were legal or illegal. And they all said that they were illegal. What do you guys think is happening with that? Do you think that there's an agenda to try to get them to replace the black vote? Do you think that that is something that they're doing? Or do you disagree with what Umar Johnson has been saying so far? Let's go ahead and continue to listen to what he's saying. Here we go. They don't have to say that to the Colombians. They don't have to say that to the Mexicans. So although they don't like brown, they would much rather deal with them than the black. Because with the black, there is a white man's burden that you owe them restitution for 246 years of unpaid labor. Now let's look at what Eric Adams is doing over there in New York. A family of four is getting $1,400 a month. $1,400 a month. Do you know that that's more than what some of the veterans are getting with a child? They're getting more money than veterans who served in the military. Damn. Not only that, they're getting free food stamps, free childcare, and permanent housing. Although New York City has a black homelessness rate, no less than 35%. So you got black people who pay taxes living on the street, and you got migrants who ain't paid a single tax in their life, eating and living better than the black people who built the country. Now that's crazy work to me. That should not be happening. I don't think that citizens of this country should be getting less than people who are not citizens is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they shouldn't help or shouldn't do anything for other people, but you should make sure that your own are taken care of first. The citizens are the ones who pay taxes here, fight for this country, all of these things, they should be getting the help first. And I think it's, it, it is sad in my opinion that there are veterans and citizens in general who are homeless on the streets with no place to go and no resources whatsoever. But when migrants come over they're getting all the help that's unfair in my opinion i think that's unfair but y'all let me know what y'all think i want to hear your thoughts on this let's play a little bit more of this 
If I was talking to Eric Adams and Brandon Johnson of Chicago, I would ask them something. What are the Democrat? What is the Democratic Party giving you guys that you're willing to sacrifice your political future to push this migrant agenda? Because I don't see how they get reelected by black folks. I don't see how. And if your city goes to the migrants, you can best believe the migrants ain't electing no black person to mayorship. So you're literally dying on your sword for the Democratic Party. Do you know that New York City has spent one and a half billion dollars? on the migrant crisis so far. It's projected that this year, 20, so 2023 was one and a half billion dollars to take care of the migrant, one and a half billion. 2024 and 2025, they said it will cost New York City nine billion. Chicago has spent about $350 million this year on the migrant crisis, and that's expected to quadruple. And you know what was so disrespectful about Chicago with regard to Brandon Johnson? Remember all them schools they shut down in Chicago because they said they couldn't afford to uh, to operate them? Mm -hmm. They opened them up. Not only did they open them up, they renovated them. They renovated them, turned them into apartments for migrants. So you sleep upstairs, go to school downstairs. Baby, listen, y'all let me know what y'all think about what he's saying. Do you agree with what he's saying? Do you disagree? Um, and I know a lot of people have their qualms about Umar Johnson and his school. Aside from that, when he talks about his uh, political views and what's actually happening uh, when it comes to politics and things of, things of that nature and this whole migrant crisis, all of these things and this issues with Kamala Harris and the Biden administration and all of this stuff that's going on, he tends to have points. You can't be right on everything, but there are certain things that if it's the truth, it's the truth. And when it comes to the migrants, you know, in this country and allegedly getting all those resources, when we're, you know, have an issue in this country with homelessness, inflation you know the cost of everything is getting high people are struggling to pay their rent and mortgages and so just to buy groceries you have to be concerned about that is this the agenda that the democrats are going to continue to push or do they have a another plan in place to kind of help what's what was going on because a lot of americans are suffering a lot of people are having a hard time just you know with basic the basic cost of living and so when you see stuff like this it's mind-boggling because you do pay into society citizens work pay taxes all of these things serve this country all of this and you're not getting the help that you need, but other people from outside of this country can just come in and get way more help than the citizens of this country. I think that is definitely mind boggling. So I'm interested to see what is gonna happen with this election and what are the Democrats planning on doing to fix the situation or what, you know, what the Republicans are gonna do. What's the plan? that they're gonna have in place to actually do something about this to change this around. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Definitely chime in. Let me know if you're voting, if you don't mind saying who you're voting for. Definitely leave that in the comments and, and let me know what you think about what Umar Johnson is saying. So I'm gonna leave it here. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.